Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, take a minute and do a video for you on what I feel is one of the best worship setups that there is for main stage. I'm going to show you a couple of things um, that is, for me, extremely, extremely useful in live settings for worship. Uh, but I wanted to kind of also compare two piano sounds uh, so that you could see uh, the difference of what they sound like uh, in these layered worship environments. The first one that I want to show you as you can see, I'm in main stage three, and um, you can see here that I have uh, a piano layered with a pad over the top, and you can see it there in my uh, channel strip settings as well. Uh, this setting right here, this, this layered sound that's been created, all of the sounds come directly from main stage. So there are no third-party plugins from Native Instruments or Omnisphere or anything like that. This is all uh, stuff that comes inside of main stage. So for the piano, I'm actually using, as you can see, the Steinway Grand Piano. And then on top of that, I have a pad that's been created, but I will show you that pad later. That is actually a pad that was created by uh, Abel Mendoza, and I will link, link that comment, uh, or excuse me, I'll link that video in the description so you can see the tutorial on how he built this pad. Uh, it's very Ian McIntosh, uh, Jesus Culture, or Peter James Hillsongy sounding. Um, because it's got that grit bottom end to it that you can roll uh, in and out by assigning this mod wheel to the high cut in the EQ. Uh, so cutting out high cut frequencies and stuff. I'll show you that in a minute. But I want to also compare. Uh, so in this first patch, um, I just have the, the main stage Steinway Grand Piano sample. Uh, but in the second one, I actually have layered in for the piano, the Native Instruments uh, in Contact 5, you can see I'll show you here. It's the Native Instruments, the Grandeur Grand Piano uh, that comes, you can buy it separately as a plug-in from Native Instruments. Um, I have, I've recently bought Complete 11 and uh, this piano plug-in came with it and uh, it's a phenomenal, phenomenal plug-in. So I'll show you that too, but we're going to compare the two and see how they sound. Um, and then we'll uh, talk about it there at the end. So let's start with the um, let's start with the grand piano that comes the Steinway grand piano that comes directly in main stage. I'm going to go ahead and mute the pad first and just let you hear uh, this grand piano. So you can hear it's a very, very nice uh, grand piano, very crisp, clean, but it also has like a kind of like a creamy creaminess to it, which you'll see that when I compare it to um, the piano that comes from Native Instruments, the Grandeur Grand Piano. But now let's turn this pad on. First, I'm going to take the mod wheel uh, and roll it back so it's kind of dark, but you'll see the genius of doing this. Uh, but let's unmute the pad. Listen to this uh, together with it. I'll turn the pad up a little bit so you can hear it. Once again, the brightness of the pad is actually being controlled by the mod wheel because we've mapped the high cut EQ effect to the mod wheel so that it sweeps down uh, from the high frequency into low frequency. So if I just uh, solo the pad and start with a really warm sound by rolling the mod wheel down, this is what you hear.
So that is extremely useful, um, especially in worship settings where you want to build the dynamics of a worship song throughout uh, the from the beginning to the end of the song. And you can really open that pad up to give yourself uh, a full, full sound with your grand piano. All right, so let's jump down now to the um, second patch here, which is the um, the grandeur by Native Instruments with the same exact pad uh, underneath it. So we'll mute the pad first. Let me jump open contact real quick so you can see the settings on the grandeur grand piano. But uh, you can just clearly see there's the settings. Here's some advanced settings uh, that I'll show you in just a second. But listen to this piano. So some amazing sounds uh, that you can get. I don't know if you noticed or not, but I have the uh, I had the space turned on, which is a function uh, that you can use to shape the sound of your piano. Let me turn it off. See how dry it is? Turn the space on, and we're using this concert hall number one, and I've got the amount turned up you know, a good amount, uh, the size, and then the distance away from the piano. Listen to this. And so they've given you all kinds of things you can model, including, you know, if you ever wanted to play in Taj Mahal, you can hear what that sounds like. So like an extremely long decay in that massive space. So going back to concert hall one, and then you can decide whether or not you want space on your piano sample as you're playing it. It's up to you. Um, another cool feature, if you're doing something that's more classical, you want the realism of hearing the damper pedal uh, and the sustain pedal uh, as you're playing. Maybe you're doing something like uh, Fury Elise or something like that, and you listen to the pedal sound. So you can hear it if you're doing something very classic. And so um, for me, I just leave it off because I don't, I don't necessarily want that sound while I'm doing uh, stuff for worship sets or whatever, but it's gorgeous. You can change the tone of the grand piano, whether the lid is open or closed or halfway open. Uh, the, ch the tone changes based upon this this wheel here. Uh, so there's a lot of settings. And I think really that that is one of the upsides of using Native Instruments plugin like the Grandeur is that there's so much you can do to customize your piano sound the way you want it. And uh, obviously you can uh, customize the EX2 uh, sampler in Logic as well in the main stage. It's just not as dynamic. I mean, it's so easy to look at the controls in this plugin here and change it. So let's turn the pad on and let you hear what it sounds like. Uh, we'll, we'll drag the high cut down a little bit. beautiful sound switching back to the uh, the Steinway that's inside of, of main stage going back here so it's really about you know how much control you want over that grand piano I mean for the price you pay for main stage to have that Steinway built in is amazing and then of course you can use any kinds of effects on the channel strip to uh, modify the sound. Um, the the grandeur from Native Instruments um, is not super expensive by itself. Uh, and if you really wanted to have a beautiful full concert grand piano that you can modify all the aspects of the sounds, 
uh, I don't think you would regret buying it. Any uh, serious keyboard player, piano player, I don't think you would re regret buying it. But if you don't have that in your budget to spend, um, you know, you can get by with the sounds that are in main stage and come out with a gorgeous uh, piano and pad. Uh, and I'm going to link once again in the description how to create uh, that that pad by Abel Mendoza. It's a video that he released on his channel. I encourage you to check it out and do something like that. It will make your worship sound so full and so nice. I'd like to hear from you guys. Uh, tell me in the comments section uh, what piano sounds you're using in worship. Let me know what you're using in main stage. I would love to hear from you. Love to hear some tips from you as well. So thank you guys and God bless you. We'll see you in the next video.